boom what's going on everybody yes it's a van video <laughs> probably from the title you have figured out where i'm headed to i ain't there yet i got another good three hours decided to stop and i will continue on in the morning i am headed for the border eagle pass i am uh, doing a little van adventure uh, to see you know all the improvements or some of the little improvements that i've made and uh what we're gonna uh you know what i'm gonna eat and everything else well you know you gotta hang around all right welcome back everybody like i said i hope everybody's having a van testicle day i am in my van i am in comfort texas i got about three more hours before I get to the border and uh, see what kind of trouble I can get into down there I do have if you look behind me here my motorcycle in tow and I'm going to show y'all uh, some improvements that I've made uh, to the van and uh, and the other thing we're going to be doing oop, did it bounce around is um I'm going to be doing some survival food eating kind of stuff now I did pick this up at the Walmart. It's the only ones they have. I do have survival supplies, but I'm not going to break into those uh, for videos. I'll just uh, I'll just go pick up what I want. So I do have some MREs. I want to try those. I've never ate an MRE, and uh, so I want to try those eventually. But so I got me some Mountain House dehydrated survival food from the Walmart. It's the only uh, brand that they carry. So we'll give this a try. This is chicken and dumplings. And that's what I'm going to have for dinner tonight. Then, eventually, I will make me a lunch. And I'm going to show you something neat about, uh, so then for lunch, I'm going to make these. All right. Now, these are kind of neat. Uh, they don't have to be refrigerated, but there ain't much to them. So I always double them up. And I'll show you how I make these in, in the van. You don't need a Coleman stove. You don't need nothing like that. I'll show you how I do that with these little uh, Hormel uh meals that you can get you know in the grocery store walmart anywhere and like i said these don't have to be refrigerated i love these i eat these a lot and they are good then for breakfast of course you can't have breakfast without biscuits and gravy biscuits and gravy dehydrated biscuits and gravy oh yeah we're gonna we're gonna try that out in the morning too so now the other special thing that I have that I dropped on the floor is dessert for tonight. Dessert. <laughs> ice cream sandwich. Mint chocolate chip ice cream dehydrated sandwich. Yeah, we're going to try this out. We'll see how this goes. So, but you know what we got to do before we get to uh, this adventure right here? And we got to talk about the um, this episode's famous woman I'd like to date. Oh, let's go with Julie, Julie Bowen. Julie Bowen. Uh, let's see, first seen her, was it Happy Gilmore? Happy Gilmore. She was in Happy Gilmore. That was the first time I noticed her. But uh, was it Modern Family, the TV series Modern Family? She's in that also. Uh, beautiful woman. I know she's probably hairy, a lot like a lot of them, happily married. Uh, but uh, doesn't mean I wouldn't want to date her. Pretty dang hot pretty dang hot so if you know somebody that knows somebody that might know somebody that get a word to someone who knows julie bowen uh let her know i'm available let her know uh our first day to be to the range yeah now i'm gonna talk you into going to forgotten angel camp out better believe it my email is in the about is in the about part that is so hard to say in the about part of the main page of my youtube channel if you will email email me i will definitely get back to her so not a lot of changes you can see all my stuff piled up here uh as far as this you notice that there's two of them in here that's because the one from back there is no longer there i moved it up here because i will show you this right here and you can see i am in a loves parking lot <laughs> that's where i'm going to spend the night guys in comfort texas now so like I said, I moved the uh, one of the um, plastic dresser things up there because I found this on the side of the road. Somebody put this out for trash and it fits perfectly in my uh, van here. 
and I got stuff in each drawer and uh, yeah I uh, also purchased this heavy-duty tote was gonna put it on the trailer but it didn't fit correctly and it's got you have to guys I'm by the highway you got to put up on all the noise uh, it didn't fit well, it did fit but the, these uh, latch things didn't work out too good where you you could easily access it so I put it just put it back here and it's holding all my tools and stuff it's pretty good uh, my med bag and my get home bag but what I did to the trailer here is I bought these $26 totes at Walmart wall of Mart and I had one I've always had one for a while I just bought another one and I drilled holes and attached them to my trailer yeah just a little bit extra storage got them locked bolted to the trailer so you know and they ain't so easily snatched up and uh, just a little extra storage now somebody will say Matt why don't you just buy an enclosed trailer well it's simple they cost money that cost 25 bucks 26 bucks something like that that little tote a enclosed trailer even inexpensive one that's not falling apart is about three thousand dollars at least so uh, yeah if everybody wants to donate an inglo enclosed trailer for me yeah or the or the three four thousand dollars to get one uh, i would definitely do that <laughs> yeah i got my my motorcycle with me and uh there's going to be some uh, motor log from the border i don't think anybody's done a motor blog from uh, eagle pass from the border and uh I'm gonna be the first <laughs> yeah that'll be an adventure someone asked how well this little pump thing uh, that I got off of Amazon works and uh, I gotta tell you I'm impressed with it check it out just like a regular deal I've used it quite a bit I love this thing best purchase I've made and it wasn't expensive either you fill my pot up right there Look at there. Awesome. I got it hooked up to a five gallon jug that I got at the Walmart. The a Walmart. <laughs> How you like that? So it's uh it's dinner time and I'm hungry. I'll show you right here. I do have my water a boiling. So while the boil water's boiling, let's talk about safety. Always have things with you to go boom, protect yourself when you're doing this stuff. The other thing is, if I can get this to turn on, and of course my door starts closing. Sorry about the lighting, guys. It is getting dark. Let me hear. Uh... The other thing is this right here. I picked this up on Amazon. You can check this out. It's a, uh... let me get the reflection off there. It is a mini, see my shaking. <laughs> It is a mini CO2 sensor with alarm. With alarm. I hang this in here. You do not want to die from carbon monoxide poisoning. Okay, so get you one of these neat little things. I'll try to remember to list it in the uh, in the description. But uh, yeah, that's my newest little toy. Because uh, I don't want to die from carbon monoxide poisoning. And this thing will let you know. If the levels in here are getting too high and set out and the alarm will go off so get you one of these real neat and they're not expensive all right the water was boiling I'm gonna take these glasses off well let me read you what it says here all right it says open package tear along that notch remove and discard oxygen oxygen absorber I can't talk uh, carefully add one and one third cup of water boiling water which we did we ain't done it yet but it's boiled uh, stir and zip close wait five minutes open stir again reclose wait an additional four minutes so uh, I'll open it up put it in there stir it and then I'll get back with y'all in about ten minutes Wow, okay. Hope the lighting will better. I got a light in here now. Smells all right. And yep, here's the, uh, you don't want to cook that. Nope, don't cook that. And definitely don't want to eat that. So throw that away. Smells good, wow. So one 
and one third cup of hot water. You know, it'd be nice if they actually had this marked because I don't have a measuring cup. So uh, let's see here. I'd say that's about a cup and a third. I have no idea. Let's make it all covered. Let's put it that way. Okay. Stir. Now I got me some of these uh, hard, hard plastic uh, spoons from the, the wall of Mart. All right, let's try that again. I'm going to stir it. Stir it. You're going to stir it like it says. And then, uh, what I do with my paper towels all the way over there. And then close it up, it says, for five minutes. So I'll be back, and then stir it, and then close it another four minutes. So I'll be back in about ten minutes, guys. Alright, like I said, uh, sorry about the lighting, guys. It is getting dark. I got two lights going, trying to get it better lighting. It ran, you know, it got darker than I thought it, faster than I thought it would. <clears throat> Speaking is hard, so uh, gotta tell you, it smells good. It smells pretty good. Drum roll, please. Here we go. Sure to get a piece of chicken. Now, I'm not saying it looks any good, but it looks you know, okay. That's not bad. Sure, it ain't a Michelin star meal, but uh, I can eat that. That's not bad. The one thing with these survival food guys is uh, they're not gourmet meals. But if you're trying to survive and you're hungry, you'll eat this. Like I said, this ain't bad. Actually, it's pretty decent. Too bad these are a little expensive. You know, they ain't cheap. I think it was 11 something for this one. But, uh, well, I'm actually going to eat this whole bag. That's how good it is. Mm, 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 mm. Hang around for dessert. I have finished my dinner, and uh, now for dessert mint chocolate chip ice cream sandwich dehydrated. And the directions on this say, eat the damn sandwich. Okay. No, it ain't what it says. It says ready to eat. So, let's tear it open. <laughs> oh, it's in another package. I'm trying to smell, trying to smell it. Hmm. Might be a little crunchy. Mint chocolate chip ice cream sandwich. Hmm. It's different. It's crunchy. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's not super good. It ain't horrible, but if I had a choice, I probably wouldn't need it. could taste a little mint but that's about it the rest is like eating chalk yeah I ain't hmm, hmm. not impressed with that so the uh, Gonna lose a tooth here. The um, chicken and dumplings, pretty good. 
pretty good stuff. Yes, not so much. Coming up will be breakfast and then lunch. And I'll show you something really neat in, with lunch that I used to do when I was a truck driver. You will be, you will be impressed. And let me tell you, this I ain't gonna finish. One more bite, because I'm silly. Right eating dog food. Dry dog food. Don't ask me not how I know what dry dog food you'd like to eat. Could be the fact that I used to work at a pet food plant. Yep, I'm done with that. Alright. Next meal will be breakfast, I believe. And, uh, or maybe lunch from the border. Depends on what I feel like. And then breakfast the next day. I don't know. But I'll see y'all after a while. Eagle Pass bound. That's right, it's lunch on the border. You know these vehicles going by, there ain't nothing I can do about that. And I've also had a couple of National Guardsmen come and check on me. Uh, they're well aware of what I'm doing. Um, this is a neat little thing. I, I got Love's truck stop. This is a heater. Okay, you don't need a microwave. This uh, plugs in, well you can see it still, you don't got the thing, but it's a 12 volt cigarette lighter. I had these for years and years when I was driving a truck. Matter of fact, the last one I had, I gave away uh, because it just lasts forever. Uh, like I said, I got this at Love. I'll try to find it in um, in the um, you know in the Amazon and link it down below if I can find it on Amazon. But uh, a great it's a lunchbox heater for food. So what I do is I take these tin pan bread pans. You can get them at Walmart all over the place. And they come in packages. And, and then I will, here I'll show you up close. Hormel, little meals here. They don't have to be refrigerated. And they last quite a while. They are great, they're good. This one is meatloaf and mashed potatoes. All right, they're kind of small though, so I usually do two of them. But I'll show y'all here in just a second. <laughs> 15 minutes, so I'm gonna have me a good lunch. So, this opens up like a lunch box. Whoop, got all the paperwork. I haven't used this one. I bought this brand new, like I said. So, uh, that can go in the trash, who cares about that stuff? But, uh, man, this is going to be good. I'm actually looking forward to this. Almost threw away the wrong thing. Feel these open. Now, you will have to store this. Like I said, this here, you can put ramen noodles in here, put this to heating, and uh, leave it. 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, you'll have a good hot meal. And that's how it goes, just like that. And you got an easy cleanup, everything, and plug this in. Now I'm going to have to do it in the front of the truck. You won't see it because uh, this cord won't reach to the thing. I'll be right back. Hopefully that picked it up because I just realized my... Uh... Well, Mike wasn't on. <laughs> but I'm making me lunch, guys, on the border. I'm making these, uh, if we don't catch it, little Hormel meals. This is meatloaf and mashed potatoes. Good till May 2025. They're not big, but I'm showing, I'll show you how I'm doing it here in just a bit if the, if the audio didn't come out on that. But, uh, yeah, I'm eating lunch at the border wall. All right, the, the audio is actually working this time. It's been 20 minutes. This doesn't have to be piping hot. It, it, the food's already cooked, you know, it's just gotta be warmed up. And uh, I've already had several guardsmen come by and they know I'm here. Uh, uh, a constable stopped by and asked when dinner was gonna be, or lunch was gonna be ready. 
Now these right here, you gotta be careful. These can get a little warm. But uh, yeah, it's been 20 minutes. And I got some, some nice warm meatloaf and mashed potatoes. Look at that. And it's pretty good. They make all kind of stuff. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Much better than the ice cream sandwich. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Mmm. Have you seen anybody in a van eating lunch at the wall? I'm just asking. I'm going to finish my good lunch right here. Mm -mm -mm. While I'm eating lunch, I don't mean to talk with food in my mouth or why these vehicles are going by. But, uh, prayers go out to Toby Keith and his family. Um, it's always tragic when somebody passes away, but... Uh, when they lose their battle with cancer, it's a little bit close to home. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna continue this little van adventure at the border. Mm. Man, that's good. Holy cow, it's good. Boom! Good morning, everybody. I am in a Walmart parking lot. This is day three of being out. Uh, what an adventure! Hey, listen, if you wanna get a kind of recap all the awesome cool little towns that i've been through that you should visit uh it'll be coming out on one of my moto vlogs probably titled awesome little towns or something like that it is definitely worth visiting right now i'm in bernie texas once again i'm in the walmart parking lot and i'm about to eat breakfast like i said if i could find where i put it <laughs> mountain house biscuits and gravy Let's see how well this goes. Once again, I'm gonna show you all this. This is what I did with this. It's a five gallon bucket with this little, people have asked me about this, the little water pump. It's a five gallon jug you can get at Walmart. I get the ones that got the, uh, the stopper for the, um, the uh, water dispensers, because you can just put the straw in there, and this fits perfectly on that, okay? And then you just return this when you're done with it and get another one. I got it strapped to my, my, my bed here, the, the frame underneath so it don't go nowhere now here you go ready watch and be amazed look at that works great absolutely one of the best things you can have if you're doing this silly kind of stuff or camping or anything I need a, a cup and a half of water for my biscuits and gravy it's also got a spot that you hit the button and it pumps out 600 milliliters and then it stops. I have no idea how much 600 milliliters is and why that would be there, but uh, I'm going to say that's a cup and a half, and there you go. <laughs> that's the best $15 investment I ever made. <clears throat> All right, let's get the water to boiling. Let's see if I burn the hairs off my hand. There it goes. I'll be back in just a second, guys. While the water's boiling, let's talk about Forgotten Angels, the March camp out, and probably each camp out after this. They didn't come by this lightly, David and Cindy, but uh, they're at the charge. They are gonna have to charge. It's not the money thing. There's different issues, uh, which I won't get into with, you know, unless they want me to. Uh, but uh, it's gonna cost you $100, no matter what. If you want to get in the gate, it's $100, all right? Simple as that. The $100 covers camping, covers food, stay there, door, and covers beer and entertainment. I mean, you can't get, you can't beat that. It, it, it don't, it, it's not the money thing. That doesn't cover all, you know, what this, the event costs, okay? Simple as that. But, uh, yeah, uh, there's reasons behind it, and uh, I know some people will be pissed off and everything, but, uh, now, it's worth a hundred bucks and if you go buy a hundred dollars worth of raffle tickets and um, keep it on your phone or something or uh, print a receipt out you can get in the gate with that uh, but uh yeah it's gonna be a hundred bucks no matter what to get in the gate it's a hundred dollar bill people and uh and it, it's been coming me and david talked about this years ago it's been coming for a while and uh but uh you know things happen you know just they hadn't really had no choice in the matter they had to had to do something to, to take care of a few things 
So, uh, $100 bill. You're going March. It's going to cost you a $100 bill to get in the gate. Uh, even if you're just staying there a day, it's going to be anybody to get in there a hundred dollar bill. Okay? Uh, there you go. Life sucks sometimes if you... So, uh, I hope you still go and uh, uh, enjoy yourself. Like I said, it covers a lot of, you know, I mean, dang, ain't food, beer, and entertainment. Holy cow. You know how much you made? You went out to a, like, uh, you know, <clears throat> oh man. Well, I, you know, I hate to, you know, to say it, but like Adam Sandoval's K River, it's gonna cost you a little money. Food, beer, camping, it's gonna cost you a little money, and a lot more than a hundred dollars. Trust me. So, uh, yeah, you're getting a deal. You're getting a deal. So I hope to, I hope I get to see y'all there. Like I said, I put out a video that I'm likely not going because it ain't the hundred dollars. It's just I can't afford the gas to get all the way there and back. It's simple as that, you know. So. uh yeah, and this trip was donated. So yeah. So let's uh let's uh let's eat some biscuits and gravy dehydrated. I'll be right back. Alright, well here we go. The water is a boiling and we're gonna we're gonna mix this up. Oh, let's see here. Open package, tear along notch, and remove oxygen absorber. Don't don't cook or eat the oxygen absorber thing guys. It'd be kind of silly of you to do that if I can find it in here there it is I found it yeah these these don't taste good anyways cooked or not <laughs> okay it says cup and a half of water uh, stir it up seal it let it sit five minutes stir it up again let it sit four minutes I'm gonna grab my glove here because my pot got hot my pot got hot and a cup and a half of water uh that's probably a cup and a half <laughs> i have no idea really that looks about right wish they'd mark it inside but it don't oh we got to stir it up first biscuits are, you know what it even right then it smells pretty dang good all right i ain't gonna let y'all see me open it back up and stir it again but uh I'll see y'all in about 10 minutes. Like I said, I was out in adventure yesterday, and one of the things I drove by a couple times in, uh, in between Center Point, Texas, and Bandera, either Bandera or Bandera. It's spelled Bandera, B-A-N-D-E-R-A, -E but it might be pronounced Bandera. Anyway, was a camel ranch, an actual camel ranch in southwest Texas here, so I'm, I'm messaging uh, Fishing with Flair, Andrew Flair, Letting him know that I ran across a uh, a camel ranch. And yes, I know Andrew Flair. I know lots of YouTubers. Bernie, Texas, where I'm at, is like the, the hub for YouTubers. I don't know what the deal is here. That and, and you know, like Dana White and, and Goldberg and just on and on. <laughs> a bunch of people. I might have put just a smidge too much water in this, but not much. This is uh, this is looking good, and it smells like biscuits and gravy. So uh, here we go. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Well, let's put it this way. If I was hungry, I'd eat it. Wasn't as good as the uh, chicken and dumplings that I ate. But, uh, yeah, it's eatable. Edible. But, uh, ain't got much flavor. Just like the ice cream sandwich. Mint, kind of slight taste of mint and chalk. You know? But, uh, it ain't bad. Like I said, this food isn't designed or made to be a gourmet meal. When you're hungry, you're going to eat it. Simple as that. You know, if I keep eating it, the more I eat it, the better it gets. Hmm. A couple of crunchy pizzas right there. <laughs> hmm.
Yeah, ain't too bad. I'll eat it. Now, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, little van stuff and motorcycle stuff. I've been recording for three days. Uh, it is coming. You know, you'll probably see it. <laughs> you've probably already seen a lot of it. Um, my motorcycle's sitting right there. I'm about to go do some riding, do some more recording. Uh, starting to really dig this van life stuff. Like I said, I just wish I had a, a bigger van. And an enclosed trailer. Let me finish this. Well, like I said, if you're going into campouts, be sure to have a $100 bill with you, or I'm sure they'll have some way to swipe a card. Um, or have a receipt with you or on your phone for getting raffle tickets. Uh, be sure to visit. The link's down in my description. If you read, click on the read more or more part of the description, you'll find links to Forgotten Angels, their website where you can get raffle tickets, where you can share on your social medias if you can't get raffle tickets. Visit Shay Lisi and Shay Tree Service Channel. They're linked down there um, for, uh, you know, to see what's the latest giveaway. You just never know. All this stuff that I've used, I'll try to remember to uh, link it also down there in the description. Don't forget to join my Patreon. Like I said, this trip right here was donated by an anonymous donator who uh, wanted me to go to the border for some unknown reason. Actually, they wanted me down there when the, when the convoy was going on, but I, I just couldn't get down there uh, at that time. And I got to get back, too. I got more doctor appointments. But, uh, yes, and I still haven't gotten an ankle fixed. I got to meet with a surgeon Monday. So... Check out my Patreon if you can. Join my Patreon. It starts out at a dollar a month. It got pistol, rifle, and bazooka to three levels. I would greatly appreciate it. Help me do stuff like this and keep bringing y'all content and upgrade my equipment. It's 100% spent on the channel. It does not go in my pocket. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Be sure to leave a thumbs up. Be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to leave a comment. All that stuff goes a long way to uh, 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 help the algorithm. Give the middle finger to YouTube and, and uh, all that stuff. And be sure to uh, subscribe. That's the good way. You know, the more subscribers, the more, you know, it gets put out there kind of thing, you know. So hit that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And you all know how it goes. If you have served or if you're currently serving in the military, if you're a firefighter, EMS, first responder, especially law enforcement, if you're in the healthcare industry, if you're a truck driver out there delivering the goods so we can have a good life, if you vote and stand up for your life, and a new one sits I was just down there, if you're on the border protecting us, you are awesome. We appreciate everything you do for us and the sacrifices you and your families have made. Ladies, flash a stranger today. Boom. I'm going to finish this.